This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Today we are with Kevin Gillis from Greenworks. Good afternoon, Kevin. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Now, we are going to be talking today about the GMAX series from Greenworks Tools. There are tools in this series. I think homeowners really need to hear more about that whole series of tools from Greenworks and that 40 volt line. Well, this is our largest line that we have under Greenworks. It's our GMAX line. There's 25 plus tools on the line, and it is the largest line in that voltage category out in the industry today. We have a full line of outdoor power equipment as well as indoor products that work off of that battery. So let's start. We're into the summer season. It's time to mow some lawns. So let's talk about some of the mowers. Well, so the mowers that we have, we range from 16 inch all the way up to 19 inch. And we have both brushed and brushless motors, our DigiPro brushless technology. Um, depending on the um, size of your lawn will depend on which mower. Usually in a smaller area, you'll want a smaller mower like a 16 inch. That'll get about 60 minutes of runtime on the battery that it comes with, our 40 volt GMAX 4 amp hour battery. On the 19 inch, we pack that in with two batteries. So you're still getting that 60 minutes of runtime, but you can do a larger area with those mowers. Very nice. So we've got some mower options for us from 16 up to 20 inches. Now, but we've got a chainsaw. I saw this. Let's talk about that a little bit. We have a couple chainsaws in the line. We have a brush chainsaw, which we kind of call a, a lemon trim. It's a smaller barn chain. It's a 12 inch barn chain with a brush motor. But for those heavier duty jobs that you have to kind of take down the larger tree and do a lot of felling, we have a brushless unit, 16 inch barn chain. Both are with toolless chain tensioning, so it's very easy to adjust it. They both have auto oiling, so you just add the barn chain oil. There's no maintenance to it whatsoever after that. Very nice. And then at the end of the season, when you go to store it, you don't have to worry about gas getting funky in the machine. That's exactly right. The other side of it with the GMAX 40 volt system is it is gas comparable, but it is four cents to charge the battery. So the savings versus gas, not only with the eco friendliness is, uh, is huge to the consumer. Wow. What a great, great aspect. I didn't even think about that being more efficient and, and price, price savings. Continuing on, uh, more yard things. I see that there's a trimmer in the line yep. also. We have a string trimmer, uh, a hedge trimmer, blower, chainsaw kind of in the lineup. That's kind of the core items for the outdoor uh, outdoor season. We have um, three string trimmers in the lineup this year. We have our brush string trimmer. Uh, we have a brushless string trimmer that is attachment capable. So there are universal attachments out there like uh, cultivators, pole saws, edgers. So you can take this trimmer and you can actually make it almost like a five-in-one tool. And then we have a dedicated brushless string trimmer that is more efficient than our brushed unit that we have out there today for larger areas to cover. So we have two hedge trimmers in the lineup. There's a brushed version, which is a 24-inch cut, three-quarter inch cut capacity. It has a rotating rear handle, so when you're going up the sides of bushes, it's a lot more convenient and ergonomic. We also have a brushless version for those bigger, uh, heavier branches that you need to kind of cut through. So we have two versions of the hedge trimmer. And of course, something my wife has been looking at on the different websites is the tiller, the cultivator. Tell us a little bit about that. The cultivator is a great unit because it truly is a replacement for gas in, in size and performance. It's a 10 inch width, can be cut down to an 8.25 inch width, depending on the path that you want to do if you're tilling up some, uh, you know, some vegetable gardens, et cetera. But it comes with a 40 volt, four amp hour battery, and that'll pretty much run for 45 minutes straight. So it'll do everything that you need it to do. That's a lot of cultivating if you're going to be cultivating for 45 minutes. Right. Now, Kevin, for the winter months, I can still use my 40-volt batteries with a snow thrower. That's pretty cool. Tell me about it. You can. We actually have two snow throwers coming out right now. We have a 20-inch, call it a snow thrower, so it's a 20-inch width with a 10-inch depth. And basically, it'll throw snow up to 20 feet. So it's equivalent to your single-stage gas. We also have a snow shovel for those smaller areas, those apartments or back decks that you need to clear off. It's a 12-inch by 6-inch, which is a smaller unit, but easier to maneuver. Oh, yeah, those little shovels are so convenient, especially for older people who can't wrestle around the bigger tools. Exactly. And then with taking out the factor of not having to put gas in, it just makes it a, a hell of a lot easier. For sure. And, and if I'm not mistaken, there's an air compressor that's in this line. So you're covering not only the different parts of the yard, but you're also taking care of the vehicle. That's exactly right. This is where we go in from the outdoors to the indoors. So not only can we take care of a vehicle with the 40 volt G-Max compressor, you can take it and hook it up to a nailer. So you can do some small finishing nailers, whether it's inside or outside doing some fencing, et cetera. So it's nice to have that versatility of having those outdoor products now being brought inside the house. Very nice. Very nice. A lot of functionality, a lot of diversity in the tools. Let's talk a little bit about the batteries now. What battery sizes are out there and available for the homeowners? 
So there's different, we have a full range of batteries, different amp hours. And what amp hours equates to is basically the size of the gas tank. So the voltage, 40 volt is your engine, your, and then you have your amp hours. So we have a 40 volt, two amp hour battery, and that's more for your handheld. So if you have your string trimmers, your hedge trimmers, it's lightweight, easy to use. When you step up into your mower category, we have call it double the gas. We have a 40 volt, four amp hour battery. And that one can be used in, like I said earlier, the 16 inch mower, as well as up to your 19 inch mower. And then we have an even bigger battery, same size of the battery, but increased capacity going from four amp hour to five amp hour, which is optimal for your mowers and your cultivators, et cetera. Now with the mowers, I noticed on the Twin Force that it has a spot for two batteries at the same time. Now, does it matter with the different machines that have this spot for two batteries, if I'm using a two amp hour and a four amp hour, or if I'm mixing and matching, how does that work? No, it doesn't matter, it's, it's, especially on the Twin Force mower. You can put two batteries in. It only operates off of one battery, but it has an automatic battery switchover. So if you're going to be out there for a while and you're extending your runtime, you could put a four amp hour in one side, you could put a two amp hour in the other. It'll run off one and then it'll automatically switch over to the other. So you have no downtime as you're mowing your lawn. Very nice. That's a neat, neat feature. I think a lot of people are really going to be excited about that. Some great things here from Greenworks Tools. If people want to find out more information, Kevin, where can they go to check these out? They can go to www.greenworkstools.com. That sounds great. We'll put the link in the description below so you guys can go check out the full line of GMAX tools in the 40-volt line. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. 